देख बिना ब्रेक डाउनलोड तक ऐप एक बार फिर से रुक कर लेते हैं राष्ट्रपति ट्रंप इस वक्त मीडिया से मुखातिब हैं सीधे लाइव तस्वीरें सामने आ रही हैं How many vans is it that you'd be making? About 180,000. Wow, that's a big business, isn't it? When we were told, we were told that you know the postal service vans are actually they are they are the right hand drive. Right, that's right. Diesel. So guess who makes right hand drive diesel vehicles? Well, that's all Indian automakers. Yeah. yeah. Good. Well, good luck. That's great. That's good luck. Yes, sir. Please. So my name is. Uh, yeah. Healthcare is very important. The Republican Party, I will tell you, and we haven't been talking about it. We've been doing. We got rid of the individual mandate, which was a disaster in Obamacare, which really ended Obamacare. We're now taking uh, the shell of Obamacare and really running it well. I had a choice. I could run it well or I could run it poorly. Then everybody would be upset and they'd blame President Obama. We decided to run it well, but would like to terminate it and put in great healthcare. We can do that. Uh, when you look at single payer, when you look at what Bernie Sanders and others want to do for the Democrats, it will never work because they're never going to be able to do it. It's not going to work. Number one, number two, it's not going to be good, even if it did work, and it's totally unaffordable, which w- for you would be a big problem. And I happen to think I've been pretty good at markets. The fact that they are even uh, looking like they're in the hunt, I think, drives our stock market down. Now, when we win. Re-election. I think we will. When we win, I think the market's going to go up like it's going to be like a rocket ship, like last time, but even more so. I think the fact that the Democrats are so radical, so out of control, they honestly what they're doing. You see what's happening. Uh, they want to tell you about health care, and yet they can't count their own votes. In fact, now they're even saying that uh, if you look at Nevada. Uh, that that's all messed up with a vote count, and some of them are questioning the votes. But certainly Iowa was—I've never seen anything like it. And I've been watching politics for a long time, been involved in it now for a while, and I've never seen anything like it. So, uh, but I think the fact that there, you know, there's a, an election coming up. I think you know a lot of people think we're going to win the election. I feel we're going to win the election because what we've done for jobs and for the military, for the vets. What we've done for healthcare, what we've done for healthcare is incredible, including giving options to Obamacare at a far less cost, a, a cost that's much less. Uh, but if you look at all of the things that we've done, rebuilding our military, the biggest tax cuts in history, regulation cuts that brought all you people. That's why you're in the United States, and then you're very happy, and you're going in with more. But I think until the election is over. Uh, people are, and it's not just Bernie Sanders; it's others, too. I think if people thought that there was a real chance of them getting it, really, it really is going to keep the market down. Now the market's been up seventy, eighty, ninety percent, depending on your definition of. You can look at about sixteen different definitions, but the country's been incredible. It had one bad day that was yesterday. Futures are up today a little bit, uh, but if you look at. Uh, What we've done in terms of uh, the percentage, even taking a thousand points off, the numbers are incredible. Uh, if the other side had gotten in, I think it would have been 50 or 60 points down from where it was. Because the big thing again, these regulation cuts, they were going to put more regulations on you. Could you were being strangled? Whether it was Keystone Pipeline, Dakota Access Pipeline, 48,000 jobs between the two of them, so many other things. I mean. Uh, nothing was getting done. Nothing was going to be built. It would take you 20 years to get a highway approved, a small highway. 
take you 20 years to get a roadway approved. And it was out of control. We have that way down. That number is way, way down. And they may not get approved because if it doesn't work from a safety standpoint or an environmental standpoint, we don't want to get it approved either. We're not going to let them have it approved. But it's going to end up taking two years, and we're trying to get it down to less than that. And if it doesn't work, at least you're going to find How about working on something for 21 years, and you find out that it just got rejected? So half of your working life, of course, nowadays with people retiring so early, it's more than half, right? But half of your working life, you're trying to get an approval. And then after 20 or 21 years, they reject you. We reject three to two. That happens. That happens. So uh, we've done a real job. But I think that, frankly, until the election is over, our market, it's phenomenal. But our market will jump thousands and thousands of points if I win. If I don't win, you're going to see a crash like you've never seen before. I really mean it, too. It's okay. Anybody else? Yes, sir, please. Great. Yeah. I actually follow you guys, you know, what you're investing. Thank you very much for clearing the Keystone pipeline. Yep. That was a great thing. Immediately, once you become the president, all right. the pipes are manufactured in the U.S. And That's right. That's a big thing. That was one of the things I said, right? I put a little note in handwriting. You have to make the pipe in the USA, right? right. On the bottom. They said, sir, this will take two weeks to get. I said, no, it doesn't. You have to. Now, we had a little problem because they already bought the pipe, right? And that was a little bit, you know, unfair to them, I thought. So we had to sort of let them do what they had to do. But they had bought much of the pipe. And Dakota Access Pipeline was already built, except for the one river area that I freed up for them. So it was great. Well, that's good. So is that what you do? Yeah. And uh, we are really, like, at home. Absolutely. And after all your expert and reforms, it's really a big thing. Thank you very much. It's very nice. To appreciate it. Thank you for the investment. Yes, sir, please. Congratulations, you're doing an outstanding job uh, in terms of developing your economy and the world too. I, my name is Mohan Reddy. I represent the company called Sai, a technology company. But more broadly, uh, from the technology industry perspective, uh, this industry has gone through a tremendous amount of transformation without making a large investment in the U.S., hiring a large thousand, hundreds of thousands of people like right now. But we still have some challenges uh, in terms of regulatory issues. भारत के सीईओ के साथ राष्ट्रपति ट्रंप की मुलाकात खत्म हुई उसके बाद उन लोगों के तमाम सवालों के जवाब देते हुए इन सब के बीच एक सवाल राष्ट्रपति चुनाव को लेकर भी पूछा गया जो इसी साल अमेरिका में नवंबर में होने हैं उसको लेकर राष्ट्रपति ट्रंप का जवाब था कि हां मैं जीत जरूर हासिल करूंगा महत्वपूर्ण यह है भारतीय मूल के जो लोग रहते हैं अमेरिका में उनमें से सतहत्तर फीसदी लोगों ने आपको बता दें पिछले चुनावों में हिलरी क्लिंटन के पक्ष में वोट दिया था इसी वजह से इस बार उनकी कोशिश यही है 16 फीसदी जो आंकड़े उनके पक्ष में आए थे उन आंकड़ों को बढ़ाया जाए नमस्कार मैं हूं अंजना ओम कश्यप हमें उम्मीद है ये वीडियो आपको पसंद आया होगा लेटेस्ट खबरों के लिए यूं ही देखते रहिए आज तक और इस वीडियो के पसंद आने पर लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूले